Hello Internet 51 Napa here, and yeah, you saw my temper with that uh, trashed out uh, brake fan. It's just, it's useless now. I mean, I could use it for like um, a scrap yard or something now, but um, hopefully I'll be able to get that second uh, van, like this guy, up and running. Again, that one wheel housing is broken on the other, but I could probably get that fixed. Uh, let me take that off real quick. Now bringing in the brown one, you'll notice that the super glue has kind of oozed out over the over uh, the buffers here. But that's okay with me. I could probably shave it off somehow with like a screwdriver or something like that. The buffers are a little crooked, but I really don't mind. It kind of adds a little bit of life to the uh, the car. And as you saw, even if I you know move it a little bit, it's not gonna really fall apart in my hands. I've got to super glue the roof. I could do that tomorrow. I'll probably add a little bit of super glue right here just to be safe because that sounded like I like ripped out a whole chunk of the car. But a little super glue goes a long way. Um, I'll put that on a little later tonight or sometime tomorrow. But the van, um, what can I say? The van's very reliable. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some of my trains running with these guys. Um, again, I've got Union Pacific 23. If I could find a DCC tank switcher with these guys, somehow that would just be perfect. It really would be. To see like an American steam engine pushing or pulling British freight. But yeah, um, just a little bit of work regarding the brown car. I just got to glue the roof down so that it doesn't come up and just a little more glue right up I just realized that van's in the way but yeah just a little extra a little more glue right here and then just to a little bit of super glue to hold down the roof which in all due respect is holding up fairly well but I'll see you in the next video